you may be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to Meharry Medical College School of Dentistry White Coat Ceremony. <laughs> we are honored and grateful that you've joined us today in celebrating the dental class of 2027 and the international dental class of 2025. As we begin our program, I would like to ask Reverend Robert Hall, chaplain of Meharry Medical College and special assistant to the president to come forth and provide us with the invocation. Good afternoon. The Spirit is leading me to begin this moment of prayer with some praise. So if you don't mind, go ahead and praise the Lord for the accomplishment of these students. <laughs> don't mind if I push you a little bit. That would be good if that were for me. <laughs> but I say praise God for the accomplishment of these students. Come on. Let us go to God in prayer. Great God, we thank you for this day, a day that we have never seen before and a day that we will never see again. But God, you have ordained this moment in time for us to travel near and far, to mark this as a momentous occasion, but to set a historical marker in our minds so that when doubt comes, when fear comes, when troubled times come, we could remember this day, the day that you have set forth an opportunity for us not just to put on white coats, but to take up a mantle of responsibility for the work that you've called for us to do. Lord God, we thank you for this ceremony. We thank you that it is a demonstration of your love and of your grace. So God, we ask you to make us grateful by activating our senses right now so that we can see your hand at work even in this moment. Be with our staff and our students and our faculty. We thank you for this institution, Meharry Medical College. God, we ask that as we see these students through their matriculation, that you offer us an opportunity of compassion, of love, and of grace. Help them to know that this journey is not one that they take alone, but they take it with us all together. Keep us and guide us as we go through this ceremony. We'll be careful to give you all praise, glory, and honor. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. If you agree with this prayer, say together, amen. amen. Thank you, Reverend Hall. We will now have greetings from President and CEO of Meharry Medical College, Dr. James E. K. Hildreth, followed by Dr. James Tyus, Special Assistant to the Dean, on behalf of Dean Farmer Dixon. Good afternoon, everyone. I bring you greetings and welcome on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Mary Medical College our tremendous faculty and staff. We're all happy to have you here today, especially the families and friends of our students. As we uh, begin our 149th academic session, I'd like to remind you that we started out in the basement of a church back in 1876 when Dr. Herbert taught the first students here in Nashville. And we've come a long way since that time. Many, many thousands of students have passed through our halls and hallways since that time. It's always an exciting day in the life of our great institution when we get to welcome a new group of students to our family, and it is a family. In a lot of ways, we, as faculty members, get to touch the future and staff. All the folks here who get to touch you and get you ready for your future, we get to touch the future because that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go out and change the world, change the future. That makes us very excited. 
The ceremony that you all are about to witness symbolizes the transition that has occurred for these outstanding young women and men. They are no longer lay persons, but have been admitted into the healthcare professions, professions that are highly respected and rightly so. These are professions where integrity, service, and commitment are paramount. In the earliest days of medicine and dental medicine here in the United States, things were characterized by quackery, mysticism, and many odd person here and there who quote unquote call themselves doctors. An attempt to symbolize that medicine had transitioned to a scientifically based uh, profession. Doctors adopted the symbol of scientific rigor, which is the white coats that were worn by scientists. So the white coat you're about to put on symbolizes that your discipline is one that is guided by science, rationality, and good judgment. So my colleagues, as you, we welcome you into healthcare professions. I want you to remember that what that white coat represents your commitment to hold up the high standards that we've talked about, integrity, honesty, and one that's really, really important, a lifelong commitment to learning. With all due respect to my tremendous faculty members who are gonna teach you, you may be surprised to know that much of what you're gonna learn may turn out to be incorrect. It's no fault of theirs, it's just that medicine and science it's always evolving. We learn new ways to do things. We make new discoveries. So what does that mean? That means you as a professional have to be committed to continual learning, to retooling yourself and your practice as you need to. You've heard, and you probably feel like this is a religious institution, and it is. Our motto, after all, is worship of God through service to mankind. But I was reminded recently that all of us, whether we say we're atheists or not, all of us are religious. The philosopher Paul Tillich wrote that all of us have an ultimate concern, something that we are ultimately concerned about. For some of us, it's our family. For some, it's money. Some, it's sex, power, attention, whatever it might be. All of us have an ultimate concern. At Meharry Medical College, our college is religious because it has an ultimate concern to provide opportunities for those who otherwise wouldn't have them and to prepare people to go out into the world to serve those individuals. But you now have an ultimate concern because people are going to come to you at the worst times in their lives, some of them, and entrust you with their well-being. Your ultimate concern is to make sure you're prepared to give them the very best that oral medicine has to offer. The last thing I want to share with you, you've heard me say this before, all of us at some point need help. Whether you're President Hildreth or first year dental student or a tenured professor, all of us need help at some point. Wisdom mandates that when we need it, we ask for it. Especially true for you all as you get ready to go out and change the world. So. I need you to make that commitment to me that when you need help, you're gonna ask for it. Is that all right? I need to hear it from you. Yes. There we go. So, welcome to the family. We're so excited to have you here. And just remember, you're entering into a legacy that dates back to 1876, one characterized by commitment, integrity, and a lifelong commitment to learning. So again, on behalf of the board, the faculty, all of us, we're so excited to have you here, and thank you for being here today. Good afternoon. I rise and I pause. And when I take a look at such an august body that's gathered here today, I can't help but say, to God be the glory. Amen. Somebody ought to praise him. Amen. I rise on behalf of our illustrious Dean, Dr. Sheree Farmer Dixon, 
and our prayers go out to her and her family on this day. But I rise also to greet each and every one of you. Thank you so much for coming and joining us here at the Meharry Medical College and especially the School of Dentistry. You see a big red button on my coat. <laughs> I've worn that button, this very same one, for 44 years. Why? Because this is my hair. We thank all of you, family, loved ones, friends, for coming and sharing with us as we celebrate these first year dental students. And one of the things that I told the first year students, what was the first word I put on the board? True. I didn't hear you. The president just said it, to thine own self be true. And don't nobody know whether you need help except you. So the first person you gotta tell the truth to is who? Yourself, absolutely. But don't tell a half truth because a half truth is? <laughs> Somebody ought to say amen. So family and friends, as you're gathered here today, I want you to know you have joined this Meharry family. And as I wear this pin, this button today, I want you to know that I want you to make Meharry my Meharry because you are our family right along with these illustrious students that are right here. So support them, pray for them. They're gonna need a whole bunch. <laughs> but it's a doable event. And we look forward to seeing you. Come back and see us sometime. Don't stay scarce. We'd love to greet you and see you throughout these four years that these students will be matriculating here. And we thank you so much. So on behalf of the faculty, the staff, and the upper class students of the School of Dentistry, I greet you on behalf of Dr. Sheree Farmer Dixon. Thank you, President Hildreth and Dr. James Tyus. We thank you for that. Now we've come to the part of the program about the occasion of why we're here. To our students, the white coat ceremony is a significant milestone in your dental education. It signifies, as President Hildreth stated, um, the beginning of your journey to becoming a dentist. You are being inducted to a profession that requires a higher calling of your life because it symbolizes knowledge, trust, compassion, and respect. Wearing the white coat comes with tremendous responsibilities and obligations to yourself, to your professors, and to the community. Today, you will be cloaked with your white coat by the faculty and administration. This illustrates the support, mentorship, and guidance they will provide you over the next four years, as Dr. Tyus just stated. Please know that you are not alone. We are here with you to share and travel this road with you. After you have been clothed with your white coat, you will recite the oath of commitment in which you pledge to uphold yourself to the highest ethical standards 
with integrity and accountability. Dr. Julie Gray, Associate Dean of Community-Based Collaborations, will now come forth to call each student by name to be clothed with their white coat. After you have been clothed with your white coat, you will then lead, she will then lead you in reciting the Oath of Commitment. Dr. Gray. Good afternoon. Welcome family and friends to our dental class of 2027 and our international class of 2025. Thank you, President Hildreth and our illustrious guests on the stage and our speakers. I am going to welcome my faculty. If I can have 12 faculty members to come and stand. First, I have Dr. Jacinta Lavelle from the Department of Public Health, Dr. William Davis from the Department of Restorative Dentistry, Dr. Vaughn Kirby from the Department of Restorative Dentistry, Dr. Layla Aluri from the Department of Periodontics, Dr. Ethel Harris from the Department of Restorative Dentistry, Dr. Sayad Musavi from the Department of Endodontics, Dr. James Cade from the Department of Oral Diagnostic Sciences, and last but not least, Dr. Layla Aluri from the Department of Periodontics. And I've got two more, and they're coming right now. Grace and Mercy. So Dr. Jeremy Sprouse from the Department of Endodontics and Dr. Rachel Sprouse from the Department of Restorative Dentistry. And I've got Dr. Eric Williams from the Department of Restorative Dentistry. And now I have 12. And as President Hilger said, we're lifelong learners and my students just told me. Will you stand please my first row? Ashkor Abdulkari. George Acuna, Jeanette Alkatid, Chelsea Apeo, Zonabia Bakari, Myrna Basali. Kelsey Bean, Morgan Britton, Shekinah Bryant, Kaylin Chandle, Noor Condry, Juliana Curry, You may now don the white coat. Please take your seat. Thank you. 
Alex Delva. Mariah Jering. Jordan Edwards. Julie Emanuel. Raven Foster. Juana Fuad. Tamira Frierson. Mark Gerges. Jefferson Germain. Donovan Gilmore. Ashanti Green. Sydney Green. You may now don the white coat. Now take your seats. Please be seated. Zaria had not. Chase Hamilton. Leah Hanks. Naomi Hilliard. Shiraz Ibrahim. Alexis Jackson. <laughs> Jacob Jackson. <laughs> Jasmine Jackson. <laughs> Nija Jackson. <laughs> Nijaya Jackson. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kenneth. Johnson Jr. <laughs> Keontae Jones. <laughs> Uni Jones. <laughs> you may now don the white coat. Please take your seats. You may be seated. Sammy Joseph. Montana Joseph Shellashare. <laughs> Sufa Khan. <laughs> Amonica Kirkland. <laughs> Rayshawn Knight. <laughs> Ty 
Tyler Lewis. <laughs> Dwight Martin II. <laughs> Mukelvi Maxwell. <laughs> Kyla McKelvey. McClooney. Nikua McKenzie. Nikua Nikuya McKenzie. Narden Musad. Andreas Nelson. You may now don the white coat. You may now take your seats. Can we have two faculty switch out with our other two faculty? You may be seated. Chimmerin Nadi. Rex Aconquo. <laughs> Cecilia Okoye. <laughs> Sonali Patel. <laughs> Vedel Price. Rukaya Robinson. Savannah Rumley. Jane Lane Sanders. Jalen Sims. Asia Sinclair. Lakeisha Smith. Mallory Smith. You may now don the white coat. You may now take your seats. Please be seated. Paige Stevens.
Lark Taylor. Sakara Thomas. Maurice Thompson II. Raymond Tunoa Scanlon. Chloe Tyner. Kristen Walker. Lauren Waller. Kristen Walls. Britica White. Bertisia White. Marquita Wilkerson. Victoria Wilkinson. You may now don the white coats. You may now take your seats. Please be seated. Zoe Michelle Williams. Anna Maria Yacoub. You may now don the white coats. Be seated. That concludes our dental class of 2027. Can we give them a round of applause? We will now begin our international dental class of 2025, but before we do so, I'd like to share this with you. Our international dental class of 2025 is the fourth class of the Meharry Medical College School of Dentistry International Track Program. This Meharry Medical College School of Dentistry International Track Program is our advanced standing program for dentists who have completed their dental training outside of of the Commission on Dental Accreditation Code Accredited US or Canada Dental Programs. So we will now begin acknowledging our International Dental Class of 2025.
Carol Berga Tigner. Ankini Dusari. Clarissa Flores. Faiz Mafuz. Manasvi Patel. Alejandro Pardo. <laughs> Parnit Seco. <laughs> Rania Sharif. Havza Tamor. <laughs> Ritika Valpule. <laughs> you may now don the white coats. You may now take your seats. Please be seated. Thank you, faculty. Let's give our class of 2027 and our international class of 2025 a round of applause. Y'all look good from this view. So we're going to have you stand, turn to the back of your program, and repeat after me. You're going to insert your name. I, I, as a new member of the Meharry, repeat after me. I, I as a new member of the Meharry Medical College family, will, will accept the responsibilities and opportunities all in unison will accept the responsibilities and opportunities that have been afforded to me as a dental student. I understand that my primary responsibility as a dental student is to obtain all knowledge and experiences of the academic program that are presented to me. I pledge to learn all that I can and to be completely prepared for all classes and examinations at all times. I accept the challenge to strive for superior excellence didactically. I will respect my fellow classmates, faculty and staff, and the administration. I ask that my classmates be attentive to my well-being as I will be to theirs. I acknowledge my obligation to support and sustain the honor and integrity of the profession. I will present myself as a professional at all times in, in and outside of the academic environment. 
I will live out the student honor code throughout my dental matriculation, understanding that this is preparing me for the health professional that I am training to be. Now being admitted to the family of dentistry, I pledge myself to the service of humanity, my patients, my community, and my future profession. I will use my skills to serve all in need with openness of spirit and without bias. The health and well-being of my patients will be my first consideration. All this I pledge with pride in my commitment to the profession and all the Mary Medical College School of Dentistry student. I take this oath freely and upon my honor. You may be seated. You all look so nice, <clears throat> excuse me, from this view, really nice. I'm so proud of you all. We are extremely proud to have two well-respected Meharry graduates within the Nashville community with us today. They have given their time talents and resources to Meharry. We are grateful for their contributions and support of this institution to organize dentistry and to the community. They are both here to offer you words of encouragement and inspiration as they pass the torch to you, the next generation of Meharry dentists. I am excited to introduce one of our guest speakers, Dr. Artmus Worthy who is truly dedicated to Meharry and its mission. Dr. Artmus Worthy is a dental practitioner in Nashville, Tennessee, specializing in general dentistry. His practice, which is located on Dr. D.B. Todd Boulevard, has been a community stable in the Nashville area for more than 40 years. Dr. Worthy's journey in dentistry began at an early age while a student at Morehouse College, where he studied biology and participated in many social clubs. Upon graduation, he was fortunate enough to be admitted to the class of 1971 at Meharry Medical College School of Dentistry. After four years of study, Dr. Worthy graduated with a Doctor of Dental Surgery degree in 1975. Dr. Worthy was elected to join the Dental Corps of the United States Army at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, where he spent two enjoyable and productive years. He currently maintains a full-time practice and is affiliated with the surgery department at Ascension St. Thomas Hospital, where he helps prepare patients for heart surgery. The information website, Wraith MDs, has ranked Dr. Worthy as a consistent giver to Meharry Medical College and is listed among the guardians of Meharry, who has given over $100,000 to this institution. That's it. That is wonderful. He was also noted as the first Meharry alumni to receive the Circle of Friends Award in 2008. Dr. Worthy is a yearly contributor to the Nashville Symphony and the Bethlehem Center of, Nash of Nashville. Um, the many awards of Dr. Worthy has received in, are included, but not limited to, the Nashville uh, Business Journal Healthcare Hero Award, the Distinguished Dentist Award, the Phi Beta Sigma's Presidential Award, and the Meharry National Alumni Association as Alumni of the Year. I present to you Dr. Artmus Worthy. Thank you, Dr. McLean, to the President, deans of the School of Medicine, Dentistry, and Allied Health, and recipients of the White Coat. I'm honored to have been chosen to speak to you on this momentous occasion. You can tell by my voice, I'm not a public speaker, but if I had a dental chair here, we'd talk all day. <laughs> Welcome to family and friends. This is your time to be extra excited 
for the people that's sitting in the center of this room. I commend you. This occasion symbolizes your movement from being accepted into medical or dental school, in this case, into the clinical phase. The question becomes, where can this white coat take me, and how am I to respond to it? I'm going to take you on a short journey, abbreviated, that took me from a humble start in rural Georgia. I've always felt that if I had something or someone that showed interest in what I was doing, I would carry it and keep the fire burning and hopefully pass it on to the next person. In the summer of 1971, after graduating from Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia, I was working in a drugstore on Cascades. Two days into the class being admitted to Meharry, I was on Meharry's waiting list. The dean of Morehouse came in and just happened to walk down the aisle that I was stocking. He passed by me and asked me what was I going to do for the fall. I told him that I was on the waiting list at Meharry. He walked away and came back promptly, wrote down the name of a dentist on Hunter Street in Atlanta. It was 4.30 in the afternoon. He told me he closes at 5 o'clock. So I went to the manager and told him. The manager turned to me and says, don't worry. If it doesn't work out, you still have a job. No car, no bicycle, a mile and a half between the drugstore and the office. So you know what I did. I ran. <laughs> the dentist invited me in and told me he had just come from a hairy the day before. But he turned to me and said, let me see what I can do. That's how the story began. One phone call, somebody showing interest, and here I am. So. <laughs> so, that's what spurs me every day. I make it a point when I leave home I'm going to do something for somebody that they don't expect. In order to get in my Harry, it, at that time it cost two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what my family did. We put the house on the market. Not necessarily on the market, we mortgaged the house. As while we were in the bank, and back in those days, everybody knew everybody by first names. And they told my dad, don't worry, we're not gonna take the house. You'll get the money back. That event inspired me to make sure that whenever I got in position to find a way to give back. And I continue to give back. So the question to you, where will your white coats take you? 
let your, let your white coats take you on a journey that you'll be proud of, your family will be proud of. I can truly say the two years that I spent in the military were the best non-residency program that you could ever have. I'm not trying to sell the military because with the rate the Meharry students are now getting into postgraduate programs, stay right where you are. Do whatever you want to do because you obviously have a corner on the market. In 1977, I joined the staff of Matthew Walker Health Center. For 28 years, I was the dental director there. I took the, the dental department from three dentists to six. The present location of Matthew Walker Health Center, the board came to me and charged me with finding the location. There were seven parcels of land that I had to secure. Once I figured out the first parcel, it took, which took me about three months, every other day I went to visit the owner. But I had no doubt that I would get it done. After that, the other owners started coming to me some came to me and offered me to sell their parcels less than what I would have paid them, just because it was me. Since 2010, I've been associated with Extension St. Thomas Hospital, where it's noted that I perform pre-surgical screenings and needed dental surgery. Most dentists don't get to go into a hospital operating room. When I first walked in the operating room, I had six assistants, anesthesiologists, rotating nurse assistants. Once the anesthesiologist would get the patient down, they would ask me, okay, Dr. Wade, what would you like for us to do? The majority, and not being sexist, the majority of the people that was in the room were female. I said, just stand over to the side and look good. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> one of the most, one of the cases that I'll never forget was a day when they brought the patient in. Normally I get to see the patient prior to them coming to the operating room, but on this particular day, they brought a patient in. I asked the anesthesiologist, was he on any type of blood thinner? And he says, no, he doesn't have a heart. So I turned to him and asked him, I said, what do you mean? He opened up his phone, showed me an open chest with no heart. There was a machine trailing the patient into the room that was pumping blood for the patient. I assessed the patient, the patient needed a full mouth extraction, he only had 11 teeth remaining. Physician says, Dr. Word, go ahead and do what you need to do. We'll be fine. So I proceeded, extracted the 11 teeth, sutured the patient up. I was so intrigued the next afternoon I went out just to check on the patient. Patient sitting up in the bed, eating. But as soon as I walked in the room, he says, Dr. Wade, you did great. I feel great. I was like, wow. Every, every single day, I encounter something or someone that inspires me. Again, whoever your white coat 
take you. Let it take you on a journey that you'll be proud of. I can truly say with instructors like Dr. Tice, Dr. Bill Davis, Dr. Robin Danielle, and with Dr. Farmer Dixon at the helm, and all the other instructors that you'll get to meet, you will not fail. In 2012, my greatest thrill occurred with the graduation of my daughter from my heritage. Dr. Piper Thompson, she may, I may not be in the room, but her spirit is here. Over the years, I've mentored or sit at least 20 plus students to get in and out of Meharry. And I've, I've indicated to the Institutional Advancement Office, they don't need to send me a letter. They don't need to ask me to send something to Meharry. It's done. I'm gonna continue. I applaud each and every one of you. Where will your white coat take you? Go with God's speed. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Worthy. We're so grateful for your um, words of wisdom and the question to the incoming students. Where will your white coat take you? I'd like to now introduce our second speaker, Dr. Kim Smiley. Dr. Kim Smiley was born to Dr. Emmett and Reverend Dr. Jo Mary Jo Smiley, the third of fourth children. She would eventually follow into the footsteps of her father professionally, who served the dental community of Montgomery, Alabama for 51 years before retiring as only two dentists of color in the city. She hails from a healthcare professional family. Besides her father, Dr. Kim Smiley has a sister who is a physician in Memphis, Tennessee, which is my hometown, and a brother who also has a thriving dental practice in Madison, Tennessee. All of them are proud Meharians and graduates. <laughs> Dr. Kim Smiley is a pediatric dentist currently practicing here in Nashville, Tennessee serving her community for over 30 years. She was educated in the public schools of Montgomery, Alabama, graduating from Jefferson Davis High School. Dr. Smiler received a degree in molecular biology from Vanderbilt University and her doctor of dental surgery degree from a Harry Medical College School of Dentistry, her father's alma mater. She trained in pediatric dentistry at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Dr. Smiley is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, the Lynx Incorporated, Capital City Dental Society, Pan Tennessee Dental Association, um, the American Association of Pediatric Dentistry, past National Treasurer and Assistant Treasurer of the National Dental Association Board of Trustees. She is also a member of the Metropolitan Interdenominational Church here in Nashville. Dr. Smiley has delivered numerous continued education seminars in the local dental society in Detroit, Michigan, in Atlanta, Georgia, at the Hinman Dental Meeting, at the National Dental Association Convention, and the American Association of Pediatric Dentistry Annual Convention. She brings to bear a wealth of private practice knowledge and experience and educational instruction experience 
as an adjunct professor in the pediatric dentistry department of Meharry Medical College School of Dentistry. She has also served as adjunct professor for the pediatric dentistry residency program at Langone Uni University in New York. I present to you Dr. Kim Smiley. Thank you, Dr. McShann, and thank you for the invitation. Whew. Okay, first, give an honor to God, my God, who has been, is, and will always be the head of my life. I ask those of you who don't serve or honor my God to please know that I also embraced you as my family. And I also would ask you just for these few moments not to close your ears, your minds, or your hearts to the few words that I have to say that I feel have been given to me from above. Thank you to Dr. Hildreth, president of the university, especially to Dr. Mashan for inviting me and to my other esteemed and honored DS guest. I think that there is no coincidence that I'm before you today. When Dr. McShann called and asked me if I would speak to you, I said, to the freshman to, for the white coat ceremony? I said, such an auspicious occasion. Are you sure you want me <laughs> to do this? She said, oh yes, I think you have some things that you could say to the class that they would enjoy. And so I said, please just let me think about it overnight and say a prayer and, and make sure that, you know, this is something I'm supposed to do at this time in my life. I feel like it was divinely ordered. I think that I've always appreciated the fact that the Lord has ordered my steps, and I feel like he ordered me to be here today. And I appreciate the fact that I can be here today and be with you. Who knew that day, Dr. McShann, <laughs> that earlier in the week, there would be the Montgomery Brawl <laughs> for me to talk about? Uh, and so I'll be here to rep my peeps and uh, <laughs> talk to you about a little, a little bit. Well, if you have read my bio, and as Dr. McShann has said, I am from proudly, proudly from Montgomery, Alabama. Um, born and raised, and proudly raised by a Meharian, and who, as she said, was only one of two doctor, dentists of color in the city. So my parents worked side by side driving cars for the people in the bu Montgomery bus boycott in their day before I was born. And yes, I was raised in Dexter Avenue King Memorial Baptist Church and actually christened by the, the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So I bring a serious legacy from Montgomery, Alabama to you, uh, to Meharry. And as she said, uh, my mother, uh, the Reverend Dr. Mary Jo Smiley, actually received her doctorate in theology at the age of 80 years old. I mean, <laughs> lifelong learning is in my DNA. So I am still learning and growing, and I hope to say something here to encourage you to continue your learning, to continue your journey to, as you are just starting your journey, to be able to, to know that it is, it's a, learning is lifelong. It, it stays with you forever. And uh, if you embrace that, you will definitely go far. Again, I have a proud, father who is a Meharry graduate. He celebrated his 35th graduation reunion uh, during my graduation in 1985. And that was special for him and myself and my whole family. My sister is a graduate of the Meharry Medical School. And my brother followed me. He's the youngest who uh, entered the dental school. And so I have a legacy. As you can see, the smiley baton has been passed on. <laughs> They've, my dad's been passing that down 
to this, our generation, and I plan, my siblings and I plan to keep passing that baton down. So whether you're a legacy or not, and I, I thought about having the legacy student stand, but I'm, we're not gonna go there today. I'm just gonna say, appreciate the fact that you are a legacy, that you have had those to come before you at Meharry, but if you have not, then start your own. You can be that first in your family to be, to start your own legacy. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. My classmates from the class of 85, I had to kind of send them that group text, you know, yesterday and say, hey, I'm gonna be speaking to the freshmen. Do any of you guys have legacies in that class or, you know, uh, children, nieces, nephews or anything? And none of them responded, but two of them did say, uh, they have left legacies. I, knew, I do know that um, I have classmates who have children and nieces and nephews that have come through Meharry. They're finished, not in this class, but um, we have all left our quote unquote legacies and I plan to leave a legacy too. Hopefully I'll put something in your mind and in your hearts today to say, legacy is a, an important thing because I feel like Meharry is built on legacy. This whole campus, this whole institution is built on legacies. Um, people like Dr. Worthy, who you just heard from, who has been a mentor, a colleague, a friend, a Meharian, and um, a philanthropist to, for this college have inspired me. And I appreciate those who have become, come before me, not just in my immediate family, but in the Meharry family, because it is wonderful family. Um, my my uh, most notable legacy that uh, Dr. Ty has helped me to leave was that, you guys probably don't know this, but he was the coach of my intramural basketball team when I was at Meharry. So we actually did play and uh, he was also my tooth morphology instructor, but that, you know, that was beside the point. We had more fun playing basketball than being in tooth morph. So you have great mentors here uh, that I know others who have taught me, who have come along with me, who have come since I've been here. And you really should take advantage of these wonderful mentors, instructors, administrators who are here for you. They are really here for you. My classmates wanted to be sure that I explained to you what a goose egg is. So the, Dr. Taj, you're not using that anymore. Um, and they also wanted to let me let make, make sure that you knew that you might get your wax pattern crushed a couple of times before you get it right. But uh, maybe the instructors don't do that anymore. Dr. Bill, no. <laughs> well, we had experiences that colored our world at the time, but it makes us look back and laugh and really appreciate all the experiences that we have. So take it all in, make sure you experience it as you can. Know that these instructors will, are, are here for you. They're, they're here for you. Um, my class of 1985 is still serving their communities and they're still giving back in all thought facets of life and through their dentistry, through their giving, and through their uh, serving their communities because surely Meharry is about serving your community. I've wanted to talk a little bit about the past because I think we all stand on our family shoulders. We we, we're standing on other shoulders. But today is actually about you. Today is about your future. Today is the first day of the rest of your lives. I won't say that again. You can't go back to yesterday. Can't go forward to tomorrow. You gotta stop, enjoy this day. Know that we are here to honor you and know that you can make everything you can and you will make the most out of today. Keep that honor first in your life. Use that, use that. <clears throat> I 
Dr. Hildreth and Dr. Um, Tyus have talked about truth. Know your truth. I, I, I echo that. Honor your truth. But also think about integrity. Integrity is one of the things that has been instilled in my life and it will be instilled in you as you're here. And the best definition I've ever heard of integrity is you being the person who you are or you doing the right thing when nobody else is looking. It's easy to do the right thing when you know somebody else is looking. And, and we know Big Brother's always looking. There, I'm sure there are cameras in this room everywhere. And with the internet, you know, we know all the little details of everything because there's probably always someone looking. But when there is that point where you know nobody else is looking and you're still doing the right thing, then that's that Meharry coming out of you. That's that Meharry coming out of you. Think about that. So be true to yourself. Know that you do have help. Not only are your instructors here to help you, the administration here to help you, but alumni. Dr. Worthy and I can attest to the fact that we are here to help you, and literally, we are right here to help you. We're both here in the city, so reach out to us. Uh, know that I speak for both of us. If you need something, um, like I said, I'm pediatric, but my brother's a general dentist, and I have classmates who are oral surgeons, periodontists, orthodontists. All my classmates will help you. Dr. Worthy can point you in the right direction of anything that you need to do. So also know that your Meharry education is going to follow you and carry you far and wide. If you just allow it to, if you just push yourself to the highest heights you can possibly do, you will make your ancestors proud. You will make yourself proud. You're going to make me proud, because I can see all of you now. And you're definitely going to make your families proud. Thank you, families, for being here. I know that they appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Go out. Be that beacon. Build your own legacies in this troubled world. I'm honored to have been here, to be a part of your journey and know that I'll always be here cheering you on to your bright futures. God bless. Use those chairs that you're sitting on to, as a stepping stool only and reach those heights. Love you, God bless. So on behalf of um, the school, the college, and um, our dean, we'd like to thank you for being a part of our program, um, Dr. Worthy and Dr. S Smiley. And so we would like to pre present you with um, a token of our appreciation for coming out today. Thank you. You can put this somewhere nice. <laughs> thank you so much. That's you. <laughs> OK. All right. All right, we're almost getting there, you all. So, oh, and take a Okay, we will now have words of wisdom first from our president of the class of 2024 because they are, uh, they have been where you all are now and they have some advice to give you and uh, will be given by student Dr. Paris Little and second we will have the class represented from the International Dental Class of 2024, student Dr. Amanda Stetler to come forth after her. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. So distinguished faculty, esteemed guests, and the bright and promising faces of the incoming freshman dental class, 
Welcome to this momentous occasion, the dental white coat ceremony, a symbolic step into a world of knowledge, compassion, and dedication. As the current fourth year class president, standing here before you today is both an honor and a testament to the transformative journey that lies ahead for each and every one of you. Today I stand humbled by the privilege to address you, the next generation of dental professionals. In the moments leading up to this day, I find myself reflecting on my own journey, a journey that often led me to a place of quiet reflection, a soft-spoken demeanor, and an unexpected path to leadership. And yet I stand here as proof that a gentle voice can command strength and a reserved nature can wield influence. My hope is that my journey serves as an inspiration, showcasing that you need not change who you are to become a leader. Throughout these demanding years ahead, you will be faced with challenges that may seem insurmountable. The late nights and early mornings, the rigorous exams, and the intricate techniques, they are all a part of a process that will shape your character and transform you into a competent and compassionate dentist. As you navigate the complexities of dental school and face moments of self-doubt, please know that you are not alone. I and your fellow upperclassmen stand ready to support you. Whether you seek mentorship, guidance, or simply a friend to share your journey, we are here for you. Meharry is more than an institution. It is a family. A family that values excellence, camaraderie, and above all, a shared commitment to improving the oral health and well-being of our communities. It is my hope that within these hallowed halls, you find the space and courage to step out of your comfort zones, to embrace your uniqueness, and to shine brightly as the remarkable individuals that you are. In closing, I extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to the new members of the Meharry family. Embrace this journey with an open heart and a determined spirit. Embrace the challenges, cherish the victories, and always remember that the, journey, that the journey you're about to embark upon is not just about becoming a dentist. It's about becoming a beacon of hope and healing to those who need it most. As you don your white coats, remember that they are not just garments. They are symbols of your dedication, your passion, and your promise to serve as you step into the legacy of generations of dental professionals who have come before you. I have no doubt that you will rise to the challenges that lie ahead, leaving an indelible mark on the world of dentistry. Congratulations and welcome to a year filled with growth, exploration, and boundless possibilities. Together, let us make this journey extraordinary and unforgettable. Thank you. to the School of Dentistry class of 2027, and to the international class of 2025. Congratulations. I am so honored to be here today, representing the international class of 2024. And I would like to remind our international class successors that this is the opportunity that you have prayed and fought for so hard to achieve. You are courageous and resilient to have overcome so many obstacles, moving from your home country, leaving behind friends, family members, and a career, learning a new language, and going through the meticulous and competitive process of getting accepted at an international dental program. Some of you have gone through this process looking for a better quality of life and greater opportunities. But to some, this was rather a necessity. Whatever your history is, you will find at Meharry a safe home. 
I encourage you to be humble enough to embrace this experience as a student. Be present each day ready to learn because you will learn a lot. You will become much better dentists. I encourage you to be kind enough to share your knowledge with your fellow classmates and I hope you are ready for a new life-changing experience that will happen at the speed of light. Time passes very fast here. Be mindful and make the best out of it. Welcome to the Meharry family. Thank you. I'm so proud of them. I've seen their growth and development uh, working in student affairs, and it's like I have all of you all for four years. So it's, it's wonderful. Um, so I'm here through your, with your challenges, your victories, and uh, it's an honor to do it. We will now have uh, closing remarks by Dr. James Tyus and the benediction by Reverend Hall. I just want to make a quick announcement. We will have a light reception in the lobby right outside the doors here. And Dean Farmer Dixon has a gift for each of you all that's going to be in a table out there too. Um, well, in the lobby as well. I'm not sure if it's to the right or to the left, but they have a table out there as well. Uh, please stop by and pick up your gifts. And um, I, um, also, we've taken a picture, so we need you all right after the ceremony to head over to LRC to take the picture. I know you want to mingle with your family and friends, but we need to do that first, okay? And then we'll come back. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. McShann. Come on, let's gradu uh, congratulate these, our wonderful new Mahari family. Amen. We, we also thank Dr. Worthy and Dr. Smiley. Smiley, Smiley, what a wonderful name for a dentist. <laughs> Dr. Smiley. Amen. And I want you to know, uh, class, that Dr. Worthy was one of my mentors. He was a senior when I was a freshman. And he gave us pointers and things of how we can negotiate dental anatomy and occlusion. <laughs> and I want you also to know that Dr. Smiley can who? <laughs> we had a fabulous basketball team woman's basketball team, and that team was so great, Mr. President, that they could beat a lot of college teams. Our center was 6'4". We had a hell of a team. <laughs> and I told Famella, don't worry about them passing you the ball inside. All I want them to do is to shoot, and when they miss, you get the rebound and put it back in. <laughs> and they had a beautiful little pink uniforms. And another member of that team was the athletic director at Tennessee State, Teresa Phillips. She was on that team also. So we had a great team. This is a great team here. Come on, give it up for these faculty. Just do what they tell you to do. <laughs> and it's good to know that dentistry is an art and it's a science. Many of you, as I stated before, have an artistic ability already, but many of you don't. <laughs> but thanks be to God, it's a science. Being a science, it can be learned. So go for it. Do the very best that you can at all time. 
and God will do the rest. Amen. 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 Great is thy faithfulness. O oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Someone say, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All that I needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Great God, we thank you for this opportunity to witness miracles, signs, and wonders. We thank you for every family that is represented here today. We thank you, God, that you have allowed us to come here to mark this moment in the lives of these students. Now, God, as we leave this place, but not from your presence, we ask that you dispatch your angels around us as we travel back to our respective locations. Keep us thankful. God, keep us humble. Keep us safe and keep us ever grateful for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power. Now and forever, we all say together, amen. Go in peace. Okay, we ask everyone to remain seated as our um, students process out. Recess, I'm sorry. Recess out. <laughs> Recess. You all may stand. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> 